Hello everyone and welcome back to Indithon Spring 2023. Coming up we have our very own Worms block, starting with a run of Worms World Party Remastered by the ever-lovely Ruffled Bricks. So without further ado, let's take it away. Thank you very much, Aishmar. Yes, Ruffled Bricks here. I am joined on commentary by the wonderful Mablack. Hello. And uh, we are going to be doing a all missions, 80% uh, no mission skips run of Worms World Party Remastered. Um, as we don't, as we're a bit short for time, we'll get into what that all means uh, very soon. But uh, just want to check a couple of things before we start. Um, Aishmar, did we have a team name from the incentive? Team name was not set, so I guess we could just go ahead with Indithon. We'll stick with Indithon. Like. Yeah, we'll keep the branding on point. S sounds good to me. And did we have a uh, winner of the voice pack incentive? We certainly do. Let me just give that one more refresh to see if anybody sniped it during the intermission. Gotcha. Drum roll. And it is the Angry Scots yeah. voice pack. <laughs> But of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who, who can resist an angry Scott? All right, then let's uh, start a run in three, two, one. Off we go. Right. First thing we're going to do is quit out of the mission and then go straight back into it again. Reason that we're doing this is because uh, much like other uh, Worms games from around this time, uh, the basically the more attempts you have at a mission, the more the game will try to help you out by giving you pity crates. Now you notice this crate has spawned here on this boat here. Uh, that gives us a low gravity, which we're going to use on our first turn here. We're placing a girder, going up to top of the girder, and then jumping straight across like that. We can only uh, cross that gap there with one girder if we have uh, the low grav from that. So it saves us a little bit of time, even though going in and out um, of the mission does eat up a little bit of time as the loading isn't quite as quick as it is in Worms Armageddon. Uh, grabbing this jetpack here and the object of this mission is to grab this crate over here which we've now just done and out we go. That's the first mission done. Nicely done. And uh, yeah, so you'll notice that we're kind of quitting out of the missions really fast. That's called end skip. So we're just uh, having to it's very curious, so we have to minimize the game once, which sometimes you'll see the game jittering a little bit, that's what yes. Ruffled Pricks is doing, then we are able to press Alt F4. Just the very moment that the final worm drowns or loses all of its HP, and that still counts as a win for that mission. So this is sort of just a, a super fast way of clearing just the, the very end of the missions. And so for this one, we're just drilling through to the bottom uh, to collect a bat just to kill that worm. And once again, once that worm starts to drown, we can immediately quit out of the mission and it's still a win. Okay, so we're on a mission three, Jumble Sail. So we have this cool little move just at the start of the mission. If we just immediately walk to the left and fire punch and then keep walking to the left on our retreat time, we can get this worm to, he'll either hit himself, okay, he hit himself, yeah. um, into the water. So that's kind of a CPU manip right there. He doesn't always do that, but even if he doesn't hit himself, he'll just kind of stay there. We'll kill him here. Then we have the second move, where we fire a bazooka into the sentry worm. He's going to bounce up and over into the grenadier and into the water with a little help from the mine. Yeah, there's two angles you can learn for that one there, and they, depending on the outcome you get on that first worm, then you kind of choose the appropriate one. Now this strap, Mad Black, you've got to brag about this one. Oh yeah, this one, uh, this took a lot of trial and error. So we have three worms on the right side of the map that we need to kill. Uh, the intended route for this mission is um, every time you get a crate, you can see that a bunch of mines are being loaded into this little area here. And you're supposed to sort of activate this mine, shoot that mine over there, and kind of hit the worms one at a time. But if we just place that girder to start with, we can hit the first worm, he launches into the other worms, and we just kill them all in one go. And that girder has to be in just a pixel-perfect spot for that to work. 
Okay, so on to It's Raining Mines, hallelujah. This is one of the, uh, one of the shorter ones. We just have a jetpack across the map. Oh, nice no, try. Yeah. What I was trying to do there is if you uh, jetpack into that mine there at just the right time, then you can get you to knock the worming before the mine goes off, but... Yes, yeah, but we just had to kill those two worms, and that's mission over. So we're on to mission six, take out the trash. Uh, so this one's pretty interesting. So see how we barely scaled just that little obstacle there? So that requires sort of a pixel precise jump just to get on there. It's pretty difficult to do. And this first turn is really difficult. We have to lay another pixel perfect girder. And we're using those background lines. Um, sometimes it's a little hard to see them on stream. Oh, shoot. That was my fault. Um, so I didn't nudge quite enough up the girder there. So you didn't quite get it. So, um, yeah, you see the little background lines, the gradient strips? Um, if we press insert just a couple times, uh, you can cycle through the different, uh, like, levels of background detail that you want. And those background lines actually help us line up things. Uh, usually girders. What is this? <laughs> the map is uh, being evil. <laughs> it's this little, uh, it's this little sub, uh, sub pixel jump here is just giving me way more grief than it normally does. Uh, Aishmar, got anything you want to say during this uh, torturous time? <laughs> I definitely can do. Uh, Anything Spring 2023 is raising money for Little Warriors. They are a Canadian charitable organization based in Alberta, Canada, who are focused on the awareness, prevention, and treatment of child sexual abuse. Little Warriors volunteers work across Canada to educate adults to help prevent ch child sexual abuse by delivering the preventive workshop. The Little Warriors Prevented Workshop is an interactive workshop designed to educate adults to help prevent and respond to child sexual abuse through improving attitudes about knowledge of and behavior towards victims. Yeah, this free workshop is unique in Canada and was developed using research informed methods and evaluated with scientific rigor. Participants can take the three hour in person workshop in communities where there are active facilitators, or they can take the 90 minute online version by registering on the Little Web Sorry, Little Warriors website. Visit the website at www.littlewarriors.ca to learn more about the efforts and find out how you can help support their cause. Very nicely done there, Reshma. Uh, so Is yeah, you, Matt Black, do you want to explain what just happened yeah. there with the mines? So three mines fall every turn in that middle area of the map. And our way around that, because it takes forever for them to fall, is we place a girder the first mine falls, launches us into the low gravity crate that we need. Then we get across the map. We get to that Patsy missile that you saw on fire. And we just have to kill those worms. The moment the missile hits them, uh, we can actually do end skip. Just press Alt F4 to continue on to the next mission. So you do see like these missions end super abruptly, but that's just what's going on. Yeah. Now this mission yeah, is uh, one of my least favorite ones. Uh, Matt Black, do you want to explain this why one, that might be? This one is uh, quite evil, so the fastest way to do this, we don't have very many weapons, but we do have a girder, and we have a bungee, and we can lay a girder to give ourselves a little height, and then do this bungee launch. Ooh. Oh, okay. not dude, bad. nice. Not bad. All right, what might happen okay. here is these guards, they can throw grenades at us, so uh, we might disrupt the terrain a little bit here. Uh, looks like it's here. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's very good. So that means now we can get to the crate on the right there. Yeah, that bungee, if you've seen the Worms Armageddon run, I don't want to spoil anything if you've not seen them before, because Mad Black will be doing a bungee uh, in that run a bit later on. But that bungee is, I find, much preferable to this one, because it's just more forgiving. And it's, it's just more fun to set up. This one, I find, there's so many ways this one can go wrong due to momentum. You can end up kind of dangling on the right-hand side of the girder, and then you can't actually get back on the left-hand side. So, a lot of problems. Now, uh, a lot of people's favourite weapon in the Worms games is the Concrete Donkey. 
and we're about to grab this crate over here, which contains a concrete donkey. So if you're all looking forward to seeing a concrete donkey in the run, you've come to the right place. Except you haven't, because the object of the mission is just to collect the crate, not to actually use the contents. So we don't actually get to see the donkey on that occasion, but we may see it a little bit later, so don't panic, chat. All right. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, lot of teasing the donkey. It's uh, <laughs> quite evil. Shh, don't spoil it, Matt Black. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're on to Woodland. And yeah, this is another going. case. So first, right off the bat, the crate falls on the left side of the map containing jetpacks. We have to lay a girder just so that crate doesn't like fall into the ocean. And by standing right where he did, he got that general worm to skip go and not waste time like firing at his worm. And we have this cool trick, Jet Patrick. Basically, since the jetpack has super limited fuel, we can extend that by launching a weapon, in that case a girder, in midair, and then we have a lot of retreat time to finish the turn in. Yeah, you're gonna see that okay. trick a lot throughout this run. Uh, speaking of jetpacks, this mission is called Jump Jet Defense. Uh, object is to set off uh, this Armageddon weapon here, which will kill the enemy worm off, hopefully. It has failed me once, but... Um, and you're supposed to use a jetpack to just dodge the meteors that are falling as a result of the thing, but we're just, I'm just gonna hover above the spawn plane of the uh, of the meteors instead. Where are you going? There you are. And then land on this bit, because you have to actually keep your worm alive uh, in order to win this one. Uh, also, Mablack, do you want to talk about um, the no mission skips criteria of this run? Because that was the yeah, first so... of uh, the, the mission skip. Yes, <laughs> so an absolutely bizarre thing that we found. You know, initially we didn't actually know that you could uh, press up Alt F4 at all to skip uh, a mission. And um, we only found that like if you minimize the game once, then you can actually use Alt F4. If you don't minimize it, Alt F4 does nothing. But we found for yeah, six Mommy's missions... Boy that if you just quit out of them with Alt F4 at any time, you still win the mission. Like, this is an absolutely massive bug. Uh, something to do with the win criteria. Uh, and so for those missions, we just say you're not allowed to press Alt F4. Because uh, it just would completely get rid of the missions, which uh, we, we don't really want to do. Okay, so nice job on Operation Alcatraz. You just had to collect the crate on the left side of the map. Oh, very nice. So, on Apple of Your Eye here, these mines are constantly raining down, and we can jump past all of them. Beautiful. Nice. So, oh my god, that was great. So, he skipped past a lot of the map just by doing a fire punch right when one of those mines was falling, and then also jumping when that final line was falling and knocking into the worm. So that saves probably, I don't know, 20 seconds or something. Yeah, that was another great Mad Black route, that one. Uh, I wasn't really that much of a fan of the speed run for this particular game until Mad Black did his usual thing of managing to just route where there appeared to be no <laughs> routing opportunities whatsoever. Uh, this one is called Fruit Bastilles. Uh, object is to uh, save the VIP, see if you can guess which one of those worms is the VIP and which is the enemy. Uh, what we did there, we used a uh, low grab just so that we could float across uh, all the way here with uh, a uh, parachute. Uh, didn't quite mean for them to skim there, but that's okay. And then, uh, yeah, there's a whole like other way you're supposed to do that mission by hitting the target in the middle, which will generate a crate that contains a fire punch, but you automatically get a baseball bat. Uh, right from the off on that one, so it's completely pointless to do that, so very odd mission design, that one. Yeah, quite weird. Um, so we're on Stairway to Armageddon. Uh, this one just has a bunch of targets. We're armed with only shotgun. We have to get to the upper right side of the map. The only difficult part about this is just conserving your shotgun ammo and avoiding these mines. If you touch one of these mines, you're basically dead. That's pure magic, by the way. I'm gonna wait for the turn time to run out before I shoot the mine. It's so rude, the angry Scots. Um, okay, so this is the the kind of like 
tough part of the mission, I guess. That's that shot there on that mine. If you get that wrong and the mine stays up there, it's very difficult to get past it. Uh, we've only got five health, so uh, if you get hit by that mine, which has quite a short fuse, then you're kind of, you're, you know, you're out. Yes, sir. Yeah, Ruffles made it look easy, but if you try that mission for your first time, you'll probably fail. <laughs> uh, so we're on to Rainforest Ruckus. This is a mission where we have infinite shots per turn, and we have a bunch of cluster bombs. It's always satisfying seeing that. Until you so, see the damage uh, rolls and you've got 148 or something. But... Right, we have to see if it actually kills the worm or not, which is kind of annoying. Oh dear. Oh, my positioning is terrible here. Okay, oh. alright, so probably going to get wrecked That's by this field one. marshal over here, but uh, we'll see. Because not only do uh, we get to spam as many weapons as we can during the turn time, unfortunately so does the enemy. So uh, if you're in the firing line, as we are on this occasion, then uh, they'll start firing at you. Now this actually looks good. Right, good. So he's knocked us actually out of uh, his field where he can actually hurt us. So... That was actually quite a short enemy turn there. Okay. We're just going to quit out because we got the uh, damage that we needed. Bravo. Yeah, that one can go pretty... Uh, it can be a little scary if you happen to land in the wrong position, then the CPU just, like, wails on you. You could do it in one turn, but, like, it's it's very... You need to be very good at roping to uh, pull that off in one turn. Right, Castle right, Hassle, right. this one, we reset this mission once so that we get a ninja rope. Going to use this to get across to the other side. There we go. And, uh, nice fling. What we're going to do now is set this Armageddon off to kill all the enemy worms. And the end of the world is mine. And down come the comments. Let's see if they get all of the worms because RNG is terrible on this mission. Oh, we might end up losing. Sniper's taken a good view, uh, but he seems to be still hanging on in there as the Grenadier is looking very smug there in his uh, little battlement there. Sniper then got hit. Grenadier very nearly off on the edge there. We need one more hit in order to get the Grenadier in. We do not have it. I think he has survived. Oh. Oh, oh my god. So that Come is uh, that is a reset that we could do nothing about. <laughs> there was that little extra piece of land that just shielded him. Yeah. Yeah, so as you can see, this is just a kind of a crapshoot. Um, most of the time, the Armageddon will kill all the worms, but you have no control over it at all. Yeah, and Emphasis it's, it really on is shoot, the fastest way to do it. So it's a little Armageddon G? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, <laughs> well, here we go. Let's see what happens this time round. I'm not going to do the racehorse commentary this time because it, it doesn't... Uh, at my age, it kind of takes it out of you when you put that much energy into commentary. Uh, but let's see if Grenadier is going to uh, be a bro and get knocked in this time. To be fair, it's not up to Grenadier. It's up to the end of the world. Uh, we are... <laughs> I think we might be about to fail to right. the road. <laughs> and there That's it is. That is marathon luck for you. That is impossible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mad Black's just sitting there thinking this would never happen oh on my shift. God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's because your camera was focused on him. You have to like move the camera out of his uh, out of sight. Uh, yeah, we need a Lemmings camera. Uh, all right. Aishma, what would you like to say during this third attempt at a uh, I I uh, was just going to say, while we wait on our third Armageddon here, we yeah, have a... I don't know if Aishma's finished talking, I can't hear. We also have a further by Saying, from more photo tracker, had a donate during the first ever Worms speedrunning block. Best of luck to Ruffle Bricks and Mubluck. Well, I guess the luck is not exactly beholden to these guys at the moment, but hey, we can hang in there. And we have the further ten dollars by Cry the Nine. I pronounced that uh, correctly there. Who just says Worms? 
and puts that money towards a bonus run of Stardew Valley Crafts Room NDE. Thank you very much for all of your patience. You have to be kidding me. Now, now I've been failed by this mission as well. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Not that this one is more understandable, I guess. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for those donations. Um, but yeah, this mission, Bookworm, we have a pretty ridiculous strat here. If we place a girder at an exact location at an exact time, like the timer in the lower left-hand corner, then we can get this worm on the right side to hit himself. Um, so, let's see if we got yeah. it. Awesome. Got it that time. Love to see it. Do. So yeah, that's a, a really cool CPU manip, and it, it's pretty hard to get. It's like almost frame perfect, and it's, the girder has to be in the right spot. It's a lot of things have to go right. Yeah. Uh, this mission here is called Parachute Problems. I would say this is probably the easiest mission in the game. You do a few jumps here, you set the parachute, and then you just hold up and right. And then you just go down a little bit after the 10th crate and grab the battle axe and that's it. It is... It's an absolute steal, that mission. Uh, this one is actually pretty easy as well. Although uh, I have in uh, a previous marathon done this and the last mission uh, blindfolded. And uh, this one in particular is much harder when you are blindfolded because you notice these mines are uh, being thrown up at us. Basically, this we're, we're jumping across a torture device here that wouldn't be out of place on an episode of Rick and Morty. And uh, we have to basically just fire punch this artillery worm here and kill them off like so. And then once all these settles and the white flags come out on these uh, right worms here, then we can quit out. Um, but if you try and do this with a blindfold, there's so much sound going on on the screen that actually some of the uh, cues, the sound cues, get eaten. And it makes it so hard to actually do that without seeing. The, yeah, uh, nice parachute, the parachute one, on the other hand, that's very easy to do it even with a blindfold. Yeah, I was pretty yeah, amazed seeing you do that one blindfolded. It's uh, scary. <laughs> like, there's no, like, audio cue for some of it. So this is another crate trail mission. You notice the parachute problems one was kind of a crate trail. We just had to grab crates in a certain order. This is another one like that. This one is called Island yeah, Antics. Uh, and we have to grab a bunch of crates in a certain order in this mission until a crate is going to spawn on the, uh, the island that our worms started on, on this head over here. And uh, we have to destroy that crate in order to be able to pass this mission. You can't even collect it, actually. If you collect it, you fail. Um, basically, as you can see, so just grabbing these crates in the order. We're using low grab on this turn just to give us um, bigger jumps again. Uh, to get as far as we can within the allotted turn time now. You notice we killed our second worm off as well quite early on. Um, partly to get a mine out of the way, but also because it's just quicker to focus with one worm on this one. And now I'm yeah, going... that worm was uh, yeah. dead weight. Yeah, exactly. Sadly, that's not a luxury we can use in uh, some later missions, but we'll talk about that when we get there. Right, let's see if I can get this notch. Okay, so Ruffle is using notching. The game has a series of discrete angles that you can aim at. If we get to the exact right angle, we can get the same hit every time. He destroys the crate, and that means mission over. Yeah. Berlin boss here is the second of the six skippable missions in the game, but because we're doing the no mission skips version, you're going to see it in action. And it's a return of uh, the hero that we all deserve, Jet Patrick, once again. Going to use him to uh, to get as far to the right as possible. So just placing a girder here to end the turn, and then we just hold up and right to get as far over here as possible within the I think it's like three seconds of retreat time. Um, you can, if you bounce off the light on top of that guard tower there, uh, you'll land underneath this guard, and in some cases he'll just skip go, which is slightly quicker. Instead, he's just doing a little header. Yes with the grenade. Yes. Um, Almost gotcha. Yes. And now to finish this one off, because the object is to kill off the enemy's VIP this time. And uh, you'll notice here that in this game, or at least this, this starts off the fascination from the depths of, um, 
of super powered mines in the Worms World Party run. They're basically just made by placing like 10 mines in one specific position. Um, but uh, yeah, there's several missions that rely on super mines. Uh, so see if you can spot some more of those as we go along. Yeah, super, the super mines, they're, they're really, really satisfying. Um, we'll, we'll be seeing some more. Drawn to Windy Mill up high. Sorry, Windy Mill on, on high. high. Yes. <laughs> Big difference. Yeah, this is For where this they one, start, yeah. like, basically the maps. You'll notice in the early game, it was mostly boats in the map designs. Here, they run out of boats and they just start filling lots of the levels with windmills for some reason. And CGI sheep. Yes. Uh, <laughs> which you wouldn't notice until you until you look closely. But we just have to get to the left side of the map here to finish off a worm. And we have very few resources. We have like, uh, what? Two blow torches? Yeah, uh, yeah pretty much. Like, this is uh, the genre of mission we call this is the walk and prod uh, mission. There's a few of those in this game where the object is just to go from one side of the map to the other and kill the enemy worm off. Uh, although in this case we're not using a prod, we're just doing a jump knock, which basically when you jump like beyond the full damage threshold, your worm will slide. So you can knock him out of position like that. Okay, and we're on to bunched up mission 22 of 45. So you'll notice if we collect these crates, on top of these, uh, these spigots here, the worms get blasted out, and... Okay, so we're blasting out all of the worms here. And the difficult part is, once they're blasted out, they will start firing at you. Um, so we have some ways to avoid this. Basically, where our worms stand, we can avoid getting hit once the CPU starts to take their turn. But they are quite deadly if you uh, have landed in the wrong spot. Yeah, they, they're artillery worms, which means that they can't actually move from the spot. So that's um, that's kind of helpful. But if you if you stay right next to one of the enemy worms, they can do a fire punch, which will uh, one shot your worm instantly. They also have grenades, as you can see, and uh, airstrikes as well. So the object of the mission is you're supposed to plug them into the taps using the girder crates that you get in the taps. But we're doing a little yes, trick uh, here. Now, do you want to talk about uh, team skip? Team skip. So this is something that is. Uh... Oh, God. <laughs> okay. So well, you've got uh, plenty of time to talk about it now after that happened. Yeah. It's the common thing, honestly, with this mission. Um... We have to shoot a lot of bazookas, and it's uh, very possible to self-hit. But Team Skip, um, I was calling it Team Bug, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, Team so. Skip. Just the word Skip just sounds kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like, it sounds more technical, you know. Um, but basically for a few missions, there's, we have uh, two enemy teams. So even though like there's all these worms are blue, they are technically on two different teams. And both those teams are named enemy, and for some reason that confuses the game, and the winning criteria becomes we only have to kill one of those enemy teams, and the game will still give us a win. So we basically only have to kill the worms on the right side of the map, and we win. Uh, and this happens in a couple of different places in the run. Uh, pretty, pretty bizarre. A little bit of an oversight. Well, it's, it but, kind of. Um, like, basically there's one worm from each tap. Uh, or each faucet, if you're in the US, um, from each team. And because of that, because of the way that they're ejected from the taps when you blow them out, like, it can be difficult to remember which one's which, because they've all got the same name. Um, but yeah, okay, so we should, we, should be, we should be fine this time. So I'm just going to go over here with my ninja rope here, just to make this shot a little easier. I'll get you. Bye -bye. Can do this whilst swinging. In fact, Mad Black does have a quicker route for this one, which involves. Uh... Jesus Christ, that was, that was so close. Oh no! All right, I can't. I can't talk and play. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, sorry. I should have stopped you. <laughs> no, that's not, yeah. It. yeah um, that's a okay. Back to the beginning. Unfortunately, we we do have to redo this one. So, um. Yeah, there is a there is a quicker method, but
but you do have to be like so on point with rope to get it like where you can get it in uh like two turns a little bit a little bit faster um which just involves like hiding in the right spot so that you will skip go instead of firing at you um you do have to like really really move fast it does highlight though for worms world party um there's a lot of just movement optimization whereas in like worms armageddon and worms 2 it's a little less important and that's just that's just the design of the missions i guess um yeah Aishma, anything you want to say Absolutely. Give me just a second because apparently uh, my voice was a little bit too quiet to hear one of the donation comments from Sophie a little bit earlier. So I just want to make sure that you guys know that she was saying, get the run with no messing. So I had a little bit of a messing going on during that, that, run, that ship but, is uh, sailed, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, okay. but we also have a further donation by a disaster of $25. Who, yes, uh, permitting, says, what? Oh, 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 okay. So, I think we might oh. be doing a little better oh. this time. Oh, no, hang on. Just you wait. Right, no more rope shenanigans, please, game. This is it. I don't understand why I can't do this today. This is this is <laughs> Yeah. No, this mission is uh it's one of the most difficult ones. Mm. Yes, yeah, no worries, we got it this time. Yeah, or your uh or, or all your donations back. <laughs> we can bankrupt it. Let's just go ahead and match every donation that comes in during the run. I guess. Yeah, but thanks a lot for those donations, guys. Yeah, um, thank you. Very much. Means a lot. I'm, I'm seeing some names from the usual like Worms crew, the people who have been watching like Ruffle Bricks's like deathmatch runs, and he's done like so much streaming for. Them. Okay, right, two of them have gone already, so that's that's a bit better this time. And yeah, it's good that there's there's uh, some regulars in chat because they can tell you that I'm normally better than this. You don't, you, don't exactly. have, you don't have to believe them, but uh, <laughs> the alternative opinion is there should you want it. Oh no, I think my Surprise. worm's going to get wrecked again. Is this going to be five attempts? This is this is unbelievable. I think I think <laughs> I think the run might be stuck here, gang. I think you're going to be seeing just bad plumbing for the rest of time. Yeah, no, no worries. This one is, um, yeah, I've definitely had times where, like, I've just been, like, stuck on this one. I just heard Although, a speaking of that, I need to actually thinking, do like, a How long run. should I let this go on for? <laughs> oh, my words. All right, I'll go a little bit further in this direction this time, because like I thought, I thought I was in the safe spot there for this, but apparently not. What's really strange is, um, as far as safe spots, like they're extremely finicky. Mm. Like there's a safe spot if you go like on that right nozzle, like go up to the right, like on it. It's it's just really weird. Like the computer has like Surprise. certain blind spots where they won't hit you, but they're very like pixel specific. Surprise. If you walk like a few pixels left or right, the computer will just totally nail you. Whoops. Mm. And yeah, the way they behave is quite strange. Like they tend to not want to hit their own worms most of the time, but there are also rare exceptions where they will just completely destroy their own worms. Um, it's one of those things you just have to get, like, an intuition for. Come on, assassin. Oh, my God. Stop. Stop this. <laughs> this has to end. <laughs> the CPU is being unbelievably stubborn right now. Yeah. 
Okay, listen, gang, I, I want you to see the rest of the run, so uh, we're going to use one of my other teams for the rest of it, because it's just, it's taking way too long. So, uh, yeah, some of the strats here might be a bit odd, because, like, the other team just has, you know, right, it's hey. my practice team, so hey. not all of them are necessarily from a fresh thing, but, oh. like, that's just, you know, I'd, I'd rather you saw the end of the run in a slightly uh, less than ideal situation than uh, us just you, you just staring at uh, uh, some drawings of taps for right. uh, an hour so <laughs> so uh, yeah we're gonna skip on to uh, steeplejack all right no worries that one is a run killer for sure mm. under normal circumstances you would like have to reset the run but yeah we want to see the rest of the run yeah this one we're armed with low oh. gravity and bat we have to kill the right two worms on the map and this is like roughly the intended way of doing the mission. Um, I'm not sure if they, Team 17 intended anything else here. We have to bat our own worm into the mine, <laughs> knocks that guard into the other guard, and both of them die. Yeah, and worm two actually survived on that one as well, which was good. That's slightly quicker when that happens because you can quit out of the mission uh, ever so slightly quicker. Uh, this one's called Radical Rescue. It's just another crate trail mission, this one. This contains World Party's only uh, Holy Hand Grenade. The iconic sing-along favourite from the uh, Worms franchise. Grab that double damage crate there, you don't have to get that, but it makes the Holy Hand Grenade uh, crate spawn just slightly quicker if you do. So sing along if you know the word. And that's it. You don't get to see the full trajectory of it because uh, we quit out the moment he takes the damage. Alright. Yeah, it's a little tough. You don't get to savor the moment because we do quit the moment that the worm loses its HP. Because that's part of end skip. We uh, get to advance the next mission the moment the worm is dead. So <laughs> we, we really do cut the ending short. Um, we're on to Roping with Dinosaurs, mission 25. For this one, uh, a bunch of Zook crates, Bazooka crates, spawn. We just have to Bazooka all these worms and make sure that they don't hit us. And they're spread out across the map. And we have a lot of ropes, which is uh, nice. This is a rope-centric mission. And this mission is, um, it's pretty difficult in the sense that if you make one mistake, you could die quite easily. Uh, not just roping mistakes, but like where you land, like where you choose to hide. Because if they hit you once, you're quite possibly dead. Well, they, they don't have uh, any long-range weapons unless they grab the bazooka crates. And so in this route that I'm using, I deliberately grab the bazooka crates before they can get uh, their, a hold of them. Which is like slightly, maybe slightly slower than other routes on this, but it definitely means you're safer um, traversing around. And also, like, as you can see, they're skipping go because like when they don't have the bazookas, they just, they've, or they've got fire punches. And you have to make sure that you're on the right platform at the end of uh, each turn, because otherwise they can just walk up to you and fire punch you to oblivion. Ow. Well, there we go. Okay. That's, uh, that's that one done. That one can be quite difficult as well, actually, at times, just because of um, how dangerous the terrain is. Uh, another skippable mission here, Rescue Me. Yeah, this is another one where if you press Alt F4 right. oh. uh, and just quit the mission, you will win. So we don't do that. We, we uh, avoid the, the mission skips as per the category. And you'll see these mines keep blasting these worms. So we want to save these worms before they die because they have the voluptuous hats. Uh, they're on our team. And we just have to prod that worm on the enemy team and we're done. I'm starting to wish that bunged up was a skippable mission now. Then I wouldn't. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, I would probably do any percent instead. Oh, where are we right. going? Okay, Jeg Central. We have infinite arrows on this one. As you can see, this is like one of the most satisfying things in the run. Just being able to fire infinite arrows. And we create our own little arrow bridge, which is su it's just such a cool thing. Um. And we just have to collect a series of crates that are going to fall. We have to hit targets to spawn the crates. 
or spawn other targets with the next one. So, we're creating a second arrow bridge and trying to do this in sort of like the most optimal way so that we can just jump down here. So, Ruffled has to get the right slope for the arrows so that we can jump without falling. Jumps over to the crate and we just have like one more crate to collect. And this final um, target that we have to hit, that one's a real pain to hit. Yeah. Got, it. Got it in two, that's pretty good by uh, my standards. And there's an MB bomb, uh, but we don't get to use it because yeah. it's a mission. <laughs> I'm gonna try the bungee on this one uh, once, but it's a very hard bungee to do, so if not, right. we'll probably go to the backup. But Matt Black, if you wanna explain this mission? Okay, yeah, this is another crate collect mission. We have to collect the special crate on the right side of the map. And there's a couple ways to do this one. So we're looking at the most difficult way, which it's, you know, it's worth a try or two, where we have Bungie, and we're gonna try and Bungie fling our worm across most of the map. Um, and yeah, getting this is ridiculously hard. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, there's very few, I mean, this one probably, unlike the bungee from Missile Base, this one's even more dangerous. Uh, well, I mean, th that one was dangerous, but this one's even more dangerous because, like, there's just so many bad places that you can land Stupid. on this one. Yeah, so we did one one try at the bungee, and now now for the slightly safer method. Yeah. So for this method, you'll notice he blowtorch straight into a mine. Luckily, we know that mine won't kill us as long as we blowtorch the same way every time. And we do have a dangerous, you know, amount of health left. Just one health. Also the worm's name, one. Um, so we're collecting some crates and we just have to get down to uh, a jetpack crate that's a little bit to the right, not this one, but blowtorch through here, then we'll, we'll get to the crate. And once we get that one, we can jetpack to the final crates. Just have to make sure not to uh, not to die here. Uh, do we want to talk a little bit about uh, this map and oh, some okay. of the other maps that people will be seeing? The recycling yeah, of yes. maps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll right. see these in the Worms Armageddon run that's coming right after this. Right. There's a handful of maps that were just straight up recycled uh, right. between Worms Armageddon and Worms World Party. Which I don't really mind, but, you know. It's, uh, yeah. The missions are, of course, totally different on each of these maps, but, um, yeah, if you if you see some similarities, uh, yeah, you're not going crazy. It's it's just it's how Team 17 does things. No. <laughs> and yeah, there we go. All right. I don't mind the recycling of maps either, but I have to say I feel like most of those maps, the missions are better in Armageddon than they are here. All right. Yeah, that's true. They they already used their their best ideas for those maps. <laughs> <laughs> so we have I rule the rooster. Um, okay. So we need to kill the uh, atted worm on the left side of the map. And first off, we have to scale this chicken. So scale it using low gravity and one girder. And Ruffle is collecting a jetpack crate. As usual, the jetpacks in this game they hardly have. They hardly have any actual fuel in them, so we have to use jetpack trick and launch right. some kind of weapon right. once we're on jetpack, and that will give us the retreat time we need to uh, get to the left side. Hey. Oh man, that's like that 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 uh, mine there. By the way, like the jump past that is possible to jump onto the feathers uh, from there, All but right. it's uh, hey. quite specific, and I thought I had the. Uh, I thought I had the, the right pixel position down, but I failed it twice there, so it looks like uh, maybe not. We'll add another go. It's those black oh, pixels. Right. Yeah, this is why I actually don't like <laughs> doing that method. Like, I hate having to hey. do this jump. Hey. Hey, right, we'll have another go, All right. see how we go this time. Hey. There we go. That's it. Okay. So we have to lay a mine in midair. So that gives us the extra retreat time we need. And so Ruffled is attempting a uh, jetpack tackle. And he tackles or nice. That's amazing. Yeah, super cool method. 
Okay, super tricky sheep. So for this one, we have a super sheep. You have to kill these two worms, and he's done. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to uh, use a super sheep to collect the crates off the uh, VIP worms' heads on this one. Uh, and I think eventually you get like a weapon that you can use to kill these worms off, maybe like a shotgun or something. But uh, I've never seen that happen because it's just quicker to, uh, <laughs> to to just blow the sheep up far enough away that you don't die but close enough that the two enemy worms die yeah it's a pretty like easy cheese uh you do have to de make sure to detonate the sheep in the right spot though so it does take a little practice so on to mission 31 this is another one that we could skip <laughs> we could win the mission just by pressing alt f4 but we Choose not to do that. That's not part of the um, the run category. Same with the last one as well. Right, right. So here's, we have a here's few the, Sorry, here's here. the birth of Mike the Headless Chicken, by the way. Just for uh, <laughs> the uh, the, uh, the ruffled bricks community in chat who happened to have that emote. That's a chicken. One of one of my favourite emotes. That one. But, uh, yeah, sorry. Carry on, bad luck. Yeah. So we just have like a couple bats here. And we just have to bat these worms. So as you saw, that was a super mine. It was just a bunch of mines uh, all weighed on top of each other. And that launched the worm, uh, you know, well across the left side of the map. And we just have one more worm to kill. Yeah, there's a super mine on top of the well of uh, this recycled <laughs> map here that you're supposed to get the middle uh, VIP onto yeah, to kill them off, but it takes too long. So what we did was we just reset the mission once, and it gave us uh, extra baseball bat that we could use to just uh, kill them off straight away. Now this uh, I am going to concentrate on All right. uh, quite heavily yeah. because uh, given how my luck's gone in this run so far, <laughs> this one uh, is uh, can be a huge run killer. If you're not careful. Yeah, this is the only mission that's like really ace log. Um, most of the Worms World Party missions are pretty generous in that they're like short. There's like, you know, some movement optimization, but not a whole lot of like, you know, precise turns. This mission, though, it's more like a Worms 2 mission. Like it's long. You have to do a precise series of moves uh, pretty correctly. And you just have to make sure every turn goes right. And so, yeah, this one is really out of place. Uh, we did get the, the time. Like, I think it used to take, like, five minutes. Now it takes more, like, uh, three minutes-ish. Uh, so, yeah, it, it still feels, like, longer. But, like, it still feels yeah. so long. Because, um, yeah, we have a bunch... The, the really evil part about this mission is they just don't give you any weapons. You have to walk, traverse the whole right side of the map to get um, t to some crates on the right side of the map which actually have weapons. It's just like, I don't know. It's kind of, it's a uh, dickish design. <laughs> yes, that's, that's one way of putting it. Uh, so yeah, I put Worm yeah, 1 on Artillery's head. Now this turn, right. I really need to focus. Right, so he has uh, sealed the movements of the Artillery Worm. And that worm will either skip go, or sometimes it will like oh. reach for its grenade a couple times and then skip go. Um. Yeah, that's that's one common strategy that we use, like, especially in deathmatch hey. too. Like, if we want a worm to hey. take a really short oh, turn hey, or possibly hey, even skip can. go, we can like sand on the right side of their head. Boring. So for this turn, ruffle bricks, we had really bad wind, so that was like the yeah, worst possible <laughs> wind we could get. Oh, really? But okay, luckily it's all good. Right, this, this grenade guy sometimes can be a bit, this grenade can be a bit oh, yeah. scary. So let's see what happens. Yeah, sometimes he goes a little feral. Okay. Whoops. Right on. So by hiding near artillery, we can make sure that that field marshal worm that just tossed a grenade doesn't nail us. But every now and then he gets a little uh, uh he gets a little crazy and hits us. Oh. So we finally have bazookas and grenades. We got the crate on the right side of the map. Oh dear. Messed up the okay. mine there, so that's. I'm not really sure how to get around this at this point. Uh, Let's see, you have a. There's a torch crate next to worm one, right? Oh, is there? Uh... 
Well, <laughs> well, we don't need to worry about that field kill. marshal anyway. That's that's something. He did a self kill. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. Let's go check that. Oh, you have. You still have torch. No, it's, oh, it's Gerda, but I guess we can use that. It's not ideal. Right, right, but, right. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. So this one, this shot here, is one of uh, um, the, I think the only uh, max bounce shot oh. in the game, isn't it? Technology. Yeah, nice. Because that uh, again, like uh, in the other Worms games, what we tend to do from the second yeah, generation Worms you. games, we tend to um, right. use full power shots for grenades and that as much as possible because uh, it's just easier to repeat in uh, speed runs. Like if you do like kind of two thirds uh, power shots or something like that, it's much harder to get the same shot each time round. So having something full power and if you do like a bounced grenade like that then the trajectory is like yeah, kind of smaller All right. so because of that then uh, this, hey. you, know, you, you can ensure that you can always get that that shot there 100% uh, accurate okay so one's pretty much done here yeah. <laughs> nothing... one has no further use <laughs> yeah but uh, did you mention the fact that uh, you have to keep both What's worms this? alive in this that is one of the most evil things about this mission. Yeah. Um, so oh, it's yeah, a very yeah, yeah. weird requirement that oh, doesn't right. apply right. to like hardly any other missions. And certainly like Worm Troll right. Party has slightly different requirements. Actually, than there's, there's two Worms... other missions that this mechanic does apply to, but yeah. Two, okay, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, it's very weird. But um that's one of the things that makes this just a huge pain. <laughs> Uh, okay, that looks like a... ruined my uh, uh, my visual cue for Just doing a wait. grenade there, so I had to improvise with a bazooka, but fortunately we got it, so... Yeah, the CPU's been wild here on this one. It mm. They killed one of their worms, yeah, they ruined your spot right. that you're gonna <laughs> stand in. Uh, yeah, that's a chicken. Weird. Okay, we. Right. I think we got him. Oh. Okay, yes, just need to line this up first. Take notes. Run away! Oh. Okay. Oh, God, yeah. There we go. Okay. One of one of the worst missions out of the way. Okay. Noise warning for everyone. This is a very loud mission. Okay. Uh, so, on this one, have no fear, old fear, which uh, used to be named something different. What to say? Uh, we have to kill the worms that are in these little well areas and avoid all these uh, grannies. Now, there's no problem if we actually hit the grannies, aside from, you know, maybe being slapped with a murder charge, but they'll just slow us down. So we're trying to avoid them, and it's incredibly hard to get through this one without nailing a, a few old ladies. Um, can you, do you want to do you want another oh. attempt at that sentence, Matt? Uh, don't. Okay. Yeah. How can I rephrase that? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's it's a little difficult to you know. I tell you what. It, if they weren't going to mercy kill double. this run before, they are now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we got got through that one. The difficult part about that one is that you shoot all those worms, and you have to actually judge whether you've reduce their HP to zero. If you quit out and one of them's still alive, then uh, <laughs> you have failed the mission instead of beating it. So it takes some some judgment to know what you've uh, what damage you've inflicted. So this is so uh, this mission Yeah, this yeah. is one of my favorite map designs, this one. I will say that. Oh yeah, same. This. Yeah, this is uh, it's actually a reskin of um, I can't remember the name of the map, but it appears in the time attack version of uh, 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 the time attack run in Worms World Party, and it was a map in the yeah, Armageddon chicken. multiplayer as well. Oh, it's right. just got loads of like water towers hey. on it in the normal one, but they turned it into this nice hey. sort of giraffe-based hey. adventure playground hey. here. Um, hey. But yeah, this one's called Back and Forth. Uh, object of this one, as the title suggests, is we're just having to go back and forth to get some crates that have got some shotguns in it. And you'll notice hey, that there's a crate in the oops, there's a crate in the middle that has a, uh, we can't see it right now because we're out of turn time, but uh, you'll notice we've got um, Crate Spy on, which means we can see it's got a donkey inside. So you remember how we were robbed of uh, being able to use a donkey earlier? Well, Team 17 uh, are gonna apologize to us on this occasion because we're gonna go in and get that donkey and 
and uh, we're going to use it. Then this. everything's just going to be all right. You yeah. Know? So I hope chat is looking forward to finally seeing the uh, the concrete donkey in action. Uh, yes, yeah, this, this, is, quite hard, this is... is quite a hard map to rope as well. I, I don't know how you feel about it, Mablack, but like I find this one yeah. one of the harder rope based uh, ones to do. Yeah. So just to like. There's a faster way to do this if you decide to do risky flings across the map, but those flings are, um, I mean, they're just really finicky, because, like, even if you do a full power fling from, like, one one part of the map to the other, sometimes you can go a little bit over uh, and, like, hit the land. So, yeah, I think my plant, like... Because I still haven't done a run of this, I was going to do like maybe one or two flings and leave it at that. You could do three flings to like do the, get all the crates in one turn, but it's it's a matter of risk, basically. Oh, okay. I'm just stalling there. I, it took two shots to get through the neck there, and I, I don't want to grab the donkey too quickly, you know? Like, I don't, I, I want to just do something very quickly before, yeah. I want to add some suspense before I use the donkey. So... Yeah, because usually we can get through there with five shots, but uh, we, we uh, accidentally had to use six there, so... Hey, that's champion. But here we go. So we've got one more crate over here, and now we're going to just go back. And we're going to grab the donkey. Hey. And we're going to uh, give this mission the end that it deserves. Uh, and that is we're going to blow the crate up, because uh, the object of this mission is to blow it up, not to use it. Sorry. <laughs> yep. Well, All right, there, hey. there's going to be more donkeys, hey. right? There's a few more. Sure. Uh, yeah, in the rest of the run. Now this. This, yeah. is, hey. this is a tough one. Beachside juggler. So this one, you hardly have any time to hey. do this. We just have to kill this worm. Hey. Uh, and we have to do it in hey. one turn. If we fail to do that, we will lose the mission. So uh, we have like 10 seconds left. And... Yeah, the real challenge here is being able to do this without uh, losing your turn. I was slightly off. Uh, the rope took a little bit too long there, so gonna have to do that one again. All right, hey. Yeah, what's hey. weird is like this one is, I would say this is like punishing for both casual hey. players and hey. like us who have practiced it, because it's like it's just like hard to do. Hey. So like we hey. um, you just have to go hey. really fast and do hey. like some pretty optimized jumps to make sure that we don't run out of time. For what it's worth, you don't actually have to do this all in one turn uh, hey, from a casual me. player. Okay, yeah. You, uh, yes, but we, because we use the low gravity in it, like, obviously the low gravity only lasts for one turn. Right. So you need to keep that for the whole thing. But as you can see there, we just what we do is, and that's scripted, that part of the mission right. there, we can just prod the worm onto the mine, hey, hey, and then you use the minigun to uh, launch them into the sea. Yeah, I love to see that. It's also just a cool strategy you can do in, um, I don't know, in competitive games every now and then, like uh, low gravity what Uzi, low gravity minigun. Hey, hey, champion. Okay, this mission is pretty tough. Hey, Take him down. Oh, you dozy bugger. Right off the bat, has oh, to, right, um, the ruffled has to right. avoid some mines and do some pretty precise jumps. And our goal here is, so we have to traverse this series of mines on top of the train. And the mines are all hidden by crates, which is super evil. But we have to do like a precise series of jumps to make sure that we don't uh, get destroyed here by the mines. Okay, very nice. Nicely oh, done. Yeah, That's really game. hard. Um, it's extremely right. hard just to not get hit there. Um, like a lot of things can go wrong. So we get a jetpack crate, and we just have to get to We've got a concrete donkey. donkey. <laughs> we don't get to use it because there's oh. no enemies there to kill. So it just oh wow. Well. Yeah. Maybe uh, next time. Maybe next time. Yeah. It's one yep. more coming up, I think. So uh, right. I promise you, chat, you will see a donkey before the end of the run. Yes. Guaranteed. Okay, this mission, take him down. This one has a really weird criteria. So we see the hatted worm, and there's three worms on the bottom. So what we have to do to win this one, kill the hatted worm, the left worm, and the right worm all in one go. So we have this neat strat. So we get to 
a precise position above the hatted worm and we just like shoot a rope and then we just vibrate in place so we pull into the wall vibrate right. that lets us knock this worm down without killing him which is important and now on this turn we can actually kill all three worms in one go just falls into the mine all three worms die yeah and um, there's there's your donkey everyone i told you see uh, you all thought I was uh, lying and debating you, but you do get to see a donkey in this run, so <laughs> there it is. It's only a statue, unfortunately. It's not the actual weapon, but this secret agent does have a donkey that right. they can use. Um, but Mad Black, yeah, this is another one that you've kind of like found a really nice back route for, so okay, if you want to talk about how this one works. Yeah, we have a, a nice uh, cheesy strat here. The normal way this mission works is we see that little target on top of the donkey's left ear. So the way it's supposed to work is we like prod that, then we retreat to the right, and a series of crates will spawn leading to that nest of mines on the right side of the map. Then we open this guy up, he walks into the next to the mines, we prod him into the mines. But this way is totally different. We lay a girder. We blowtorch, this is called like a blowtorch uh, pinch spot. So see how many blowtorches we got in? We did 37 damage, which is a lot for blowtorch. So this guy hits the ceiling a lot. We get a lot of damage on blowtorch. Then he kills us and our grave damage sends him into the mine. And we do like just barely enough damage to kill him. So we didn't get to see his death animation, but he did die there. And, yeah, that saves a lot of time on that mission. Okay, so... Yeah, totally, totally different way of doing pie eating Piper. So we're on to Plain Crazy. We have a worm on the right side of the map that we have to kill. There and we also have a nice way of doing that. Okay, so... Toss a grenade, and... That's it. <laughs> you know, that's we lined that shot up on the side of the Statue of Liberty first, um, and then use the low grav to All jump right. up there. Mm-hmm. Hey, yes, champion. Okay, so on to strat this one. Uh, it's all aboard, isn't it? This one. Right. Is this another one like jump jet de defense? You're supposed to use the Armageddon to uh, yeah, kill yeah. this worm off, but there's not much room on this boat, and sometimes it will just get decimated right. so psychotropic found this uh, alternate strat here where you just lure the, gr the general down like that uh, and then you just oh. back jump ow, ow, ow. Uh, which gives enough momentum to knock the general in but your worm stays alive which is pivotal to uh, complete the mission oh uh, yeah okay nicely done that was the last skippable mission by the way right right Okay, this one is bungee fun. So we have to kill the two secret agent worms, and the only way to do that is to collect a series of crates with bungee. This one is like ridiculously hard. Um, like the bungee mechanics in this game are they're very robust, let's say, um, and they take a lot of skill to get good at. I would say this mission just has one of the crates is like insanely hard to get, but if you sort of know the trick, you can get it pretty uh, pretty easily once you practice. So we get a crate containing two homing missiles. We homing both those worms, and we're done. And that one almost survived there. I don't know if you saw that. That upward trajectory was very, very kind of vertical. Yeah, but that was really nicely done. That's like that's like a clap because that one's hard. Okay, this is another mission that Ruffled has done blindfolded before, which is not to say it's, like, easy, but... <laughs> well, there's a, an, an indestructible border around the entire map. I don't know whether that's supposed to be the design on this, right. but uh, it means that this is a lot easier than it looks, this mission. Oh, gosh! Yeah, say that, and and I, I said that literally as I failed it, so... <laughs> You were talking. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Matt Black, sort it out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But yeah, we just have to collect a jetpack up top here um, and jetpack over here. So yeah, the water, we, we're not sinking here because there's a, an indestructible border across the map. 
Uh, so basically, we just have to kill this worm in the upper left, and we can just collect a fire punch, jetpack up there, and fire punch him. This one's like pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, it's another one of those missions. It's just like it's kind of just movement optimization, and you do have to make sure to do that fire punch, like you know, right at the top there. So we're nearing the end of the run. We have this mission and then two more. So this is puzzle at Tamil. Right, hey. Hey. Yorkshire dialect, I think, on that one. Oh, oh, that's why. Yeah. yeah. I, I never understood that. I was like, tut, tut. It's, it's a play on the uh, phrase trouble at mill. Um, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure of the etymology of that beyond yeah, that. That's a but anyway, yes, please tell everyone right, how, hey. uh, <laughs> how annoying this mission is. <laughs> this one is uh, really, really annoying. So right off the bat, um, Ruffle buffers Thanks. enter and does a jump, which collects a crate. That crate, as you saw, set off a mine, set off two mines, which launched, killed a worm, launched him uh, down here. Now, the normal way to do that, and also the intended way for the mission is like, we launch that worm, lay a girder, uh, then the first worm lands right next to the worm we just killed kills them both with grave grave damage but the problem there is that that requires a girder and we want to actually save a girder so we're doing a slightly different way that's a little more consistent and i say consistent but this is uh really difficult so um ruffle has to get to a really precise position on this worm's head with jetpack and our plan here is going to be we blow up so we let our worm die. Our grave damage blows up the crate. And we're going to get enough momentum to kill this field marshal by bouncing him off the earth. Oh. Okay, we got it. Oh, yeah. That's the last, like, real big run killer of the run here, so... Okay, so we actually, we would normally reset this mission right. five times, but because oh. of the save file I'm playing on, it's, it's already right. there, so... Uh, that saves a little bit of time on this run. But basically, we reset it so that we can get this jetpack crate here, because we're going to do our final jetpack trick of the run. Chuck in a grenade down there just to end the turn, and then grab in the concrete donkey. Do we get to use it? Another... Oh. No, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Almost. So close. Okay, this one, invertebrate invaders. You may recognize uh, this, uh, this map from somewhere. Time's coming up, by the way. Uh, uh, tech. I'll let you know when, uh, yeah, carry on. So, mines are constantly raining down on this map. We have to make sure that none of our hatted worms die on the bottom. And we have to kill uh, only four worms, only the four uh, right worms on the map. This is another one with Team, team Bug, uh, Team Skip, where there are multiple enemy teams. They all have the team name Enemy, so the game, for some reason, thinks we only have to kill one of the teams. Um, and we're just armed with bazooka. So, what makes this really difficult is we have to kill these worms while the mines are raining down. It's extremely chaotic. And one of my VIPs got killed that time as well, so I had to. Because I think that counts as a loss even with uh, mm -hmm. yeah, the quit out of end skip. Yeah. What makes this difficult. Like, there's a bunch of things that make this mission really difficult, but, um... One of them is we have to, like, actually be able to see, like, did we kill four worms, and then be able to press all four. four. That worm is... that's a bonus worm. Uh, <laughs> you know, we, we don't need to kill, but clearing the land can sometimes help. Okay, so I, uh, I'm gonna have to go like this one, because the... I don't seem to be getting the, uh... Specific notches very well here, so it's fine. Yeah, what's we have to get to like some really, really precise angles here. Um, yeah, this one is extremely hairy, and, and I believe that's all time. All right, there we go. Okay, all right, we got there in the end. <laughs> that was uh, Werb's World Party remastered in some amount of time. That was all 45 missions uh, from it. Uh, apologies for the slight snafu that we had.
um, during the, uh, the bunged up mission, but uh, you got to see all the run at least, so I hope that was uh, something. Um, anyway, uh, stick around because uh, Mad Black is now going to take over and he's going to do the Worms World part. Uh, sorry, Worms Armageddon run, which I'm going to be commentating. But uh, uh, Mad Black, anything you want to quickly say before that? Or should we. Oh, no, we can just, we can just keep rolling. <laughs> all right, all right. Had, uh, HMR, take it away. All right, Ruffle Picks, thank you for partying with us so hard. You heard it just now. Our two gentlemen here will just quickly swap roles, and we'll be back with a Worms Armageddon run in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 